Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1133rd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni, and that would be me. Good evening, traders. We've got a lot of these videos geared to teach you the art of technical analysis, how to figure out what's going on in the charts, and how to apply that going forward. These last few videos I have been telling you about the bear flags. A bear flag is a bear flag is a bear flag. Albeit I got a lot of heat from you wannabe analysts out there. And a lot of you said, Oscar, you should change the Omni. Have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? And I said, guys, are you insane? Two days we get stopped out and you want me to change the Omni? And look what happened. The bear flag proved to be exactly what it was supposed to be. So it herky-jerkied five days inside of it, but it still proved to be a bear flag. And a flag is a flag is a flag that is unequivocal. So where are we now? I have been telling you in every single video and every day at my website in my chat room since the beginning of December that the volatility is going to go berserk and it's going to get to a point that you won't even know where to place stops. And if you can't afford this, you shouldn't be in it or you should be a one lot trader. Look at where we are now. Is this not volatility gone wild? I mean, are you insane? I'm expecting to see the volatility run by in a bikini any moment. It is volatility gone wild. So what does that mean for us? That means that the markets are going to absolutely continue going like this. But I've got some great charts to show you that will probably make you want to stop and think before you do anything else. Now we know that futures trading can be extremely risky and cause substantial financial loss. We know that futures trading is not suitable for all trading accounts. And with this insane volatility that we've had lately, if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know that a stop can absolutely be your best friend, don't trade now. This isn't the time. You, your account will just disappear. Use stops. Know what you're doing. Use technical analysis. With that in mind, this video is being filmed on February 3rd for trading February 4th. That is Tuesday, 2014. We've got a red Omni at the onset. We know we've got volatility gone wild. And here's what's on the board. Is this going to be a major fundamental shift coming in our markets? Because I've got something to show you that tells me to tell you, watch out. It could be a major fundamental shift about to take place in our markets, a sea change, if you will. Or will the OTATMA, the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average, will it hold the line? I've got some great charts to illustrate both things. The major fundamental shift may absolutely be coming. The only thing I see that would stop it right now is the or. Will OTAPMA hold the line? Traders, with no further ado, make sure you pay attention to this chart segment and let's go look at some charts. OmniCamp literally is the place where I hold back on nothing. I teach you all the techniques I've ever learned. I teach you all the great tips and tricks the floor traders taught me in my 32 years coming up. OmniCamp is your chance to come to Las Vegas and study with me, Oscar Carboni, for four straight days. And I want to make sure you leave with the knowledge and confidence that you can carry out these techniques yourself. If you feel ready, if you feel like you can come on down to Vegas and study with me for four days, come on down to livewithoscar.com and simply click the OmniCamp banner and fill out the application. Traders, the NASDAQ daily bar chart. Support absolutely breached, right? We used to hold, we held it, 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 we almost held it, we broke. And into this wonderful bear flag, the one that you guys were fighting me over for five days, but there it is. A flag is a flag is a flag because look at what the NASDAQ did. It had a hundred point drop and ended up settling at the lows. So the flag worked and at the onset, we're looking at a market that looks extremely bearish. Wouldn't you say, look at this, gets ugly, right? Looking at the daily NASDAQ, 
Now we've got Otapa. It's at Otapa, the Omni Trade Academy's proprietary moving average. So bear flag down to Otapa. Will it hold? Here's where it gets interesting. Otapa, E mini S and P gets down to Otapa here. Doesn't go very far. Comes back. Gets down to my Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average once again here. Not very far. Goes back here. Not very far. This time it has a bit of a dip underneath, right? Looks kind of scary. But then, of course, I start doing an analysis around that dip. And look at how this thing pans out right here. Very interesting. Look at this trend line. It hits the last time we dipped. This time, right to where we are now. So, we are at Otapma. We went through it for a day. Will this hold? Will Otapma hold these markets? If Otapma doesn't do it, I don't think they're going to stay. But let's see what happens. Next. Dow Jones Industrial Average. Look at this. Look at the average size. Just, you know, the length right here. That you go through a tap before you hold. About the same size every time. Smaller here. Almost the same size every time. Smaller here and a little bigger here. But almost the same amount of time on the Otapa. You don't get much time. And you head right back up. Like here and here and here and here and here. So will Otapma hold? Now, if it was just indices around Otapma, I would say, well, it's hard to tell. But this could be a fundamental shift because look at what else I have to show you. Dow Jones Transportation Average is the first one I'm going to show you out of those averages. Here, Otapma gets violated back up, violated back up, violated back up, violated back up. Barely violated so far as of the close on Monday. Will Otapma hold the line? This is important stuff here. The German DAX at Otapma. Are you kidding me? The dollar index just bounced off Otapma three days ago. Look at this. Crude oil at Otapma. There are tons of them. Look at the next chart. Then there's gold at Otapma, and that could be a bull flag. What is going on here? Almost every financial instrument you can think of came to a Tatma. Then the big grains. I started just pulling markets randomly. Look at this corn at Otapma. Next, euro currency just came down from Otapma two and a half days ago. You've got British pound right at Otapma. You've got soybeans right there. You just got above it as of Monday. You've got platinum. Just got under Otapa. Trade is, it is continuing everywhere. But then there's this. Then everything quiets down a little bit. We go out to the weekly charts. And I've got something extremely interesting I found on the weekly charts. Now, Otapa's in a spot that we could actually hold right here. So maybe Otapa will hold us. But when you look at those daily charts, at the onset, when you first look at them, they are extremely bearish. We've got a bearish harmony for trading on Tuesday, undoubtedly. But there is more to look at. NASDAQ Weekly, look at this. This, I stumbled upon this afternoon, and I found it very interesting. This is a weekly chart. Each one of these bars represents a whole week's worth of trading. If we go back here, as the market was moving a little bit sideways, the first bar that shot up that created this, when the market backed off, it came right back to that bar and stopped going down. It went up. And I went, all right, interesting. This is the first up bar to create this. It came right back down to that spot and stopped and went up. I said, well, look at that. So here we are a few weeks, you know, a month or two later. We have another one of those where this is the first up bar of this swing. It comes right back to that spot. Interesting, right? This one is the first up bar to this swing. It came right back to that spot. Here we are, the first up bar to this swing. It comes right back to that spot. Then we make this bigger. This is actually the first up bar to this swing. And look, we came right back down to it as of Monday. That's another piece of evidence that we may hold. Now let's look at this same chart again. But well, let's look at something else. It's in a 36-week channel. It has not broken. That channel hits exactly at the spot where this hits. Like all of these that we just went over, it's the same chart, right? This hits right there on the weekly. Where Otapa's coming in on all the dailies across the planet. Will this hold? I think we are at an absolute do-or-die area. Let's look at the next chart. Dow Jones Transportation Average on the weekly. It's got a little bit of room left, but the 
Does this look like a market that's topped out to you, traders? Does this look like a market that's in Armageddon? Does this look like the end of the world to you? No way. No way is this Armageddon. If you get through this and you get under this, maybe Armageddon is starting. Right now, this is a market gyrating like it always does. It's just gyrating. The gyrations are huge right now because of the volatility and how expensive, how high priced the markets are. But it's just gyrating at this point in its weekly ranges. If, in fact, we get down here, we'll talk about a better market. Now, we are sellers on a daily basis because we're, we're not blind. We see the markets coming off. But there's a lot of reason to think that the, the integrity is still intact in the bigger market itself. And there's a good reason to think that instead of this being a fundamental shift coming, maybe Otapa will hold the line. Traders, pull your own charts. Do your own homework. Very interesting spot we are at in the markets at this juncture in time. So there you have it, OmniX. A major fundamental shift coming? Or will Otapa hold the line? Any of you OmniX that have been following me for seven years that I've been producing these videos would know this much. Otapa has absolutely called the major fundamental shifts in this market since I started showing it to you. We are right at a spot that Omni's about to go. Uh-oh, fundamental shift taking place. It must hold the line here. You've seen the charts. I have shown this very same video to you about 15 times in the last seven years. Looks a lot like this one. Fundamental shift, all the markets coming to Omni. Anybody would remember those if you've been around a long time. This is one of those. This is it. It's either the big shift or Otapa will hold. I'd love to see Otapa hold. We'll trade whatever side they give us. We're starting off tomorrow, absolutely selling. But you did see those weekly charts. There may be cause to think that the weeklies and Otapa on the dailies will give us the legs that we need to go back up. Traders, do not come into this market tomorrow or any day this week or next week or for the next couple of weeks, I would think, the foreseeable future, without enormous stops or do not trade. This is a very dangerous environment. All right, traders, I'll see you out live with Oscar.com. Come on down and join me in my chat room. I'll be live on camera and microphone, and I will be there to help you get through these rough and tumble, insane, volatile moves we have been seeing. I will see you out live with Oscar.com. Remember... Keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with keeping your emotions at bay is to say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and lately break out your rosary beads too, and you know what that is. Stop so Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.